You've been listening to the uh, Bomberman Hero soundtrack. Really wish Konami would put the uh, Bomberman games on NSO. They put they put Castlevania games on the Sega one. Put Bomberman, the N64 Bomberman games, on the uh, N64 app. Anyway, I'm back. Uh, I went to the bathroom, grabbed a snack. I, I have um, I have Ritz toasted chips ranch flavored. Pretty good. Not an overwhelming amount of ranch. They're not super powdery. <laughs> they're not super powdery, but they're they're just tasty. They're tasty. They're good. Good Ritz chips. Of course, I have my drink. Sorry, it was a little loud. Um. Hey, okay. so I'm back. Uh, I'm gonna do some Ace Attorney before the end of the night. I don't know if we'll finish Case Two tonight, just because of how I, how late I'm starting with it. <clears throat> but to uh, go over a few things, because uh, it's been a while since I did a ra I did a ramble last week, but a a some stuff's happened. So uh, first off, Ephraim, I don't know if I got that on record. Or I don't know if I said that with my mic off, but uh, I I'm in the Pokemon DLC is good so far. It's it's definitely seems like it's gonna be a lot bigger than the last one. Which is great, but also, I do not, uh, I do not know how long it's gonna take to beat. So I might have to, like, schedule out time for it. I might explore it a lot on my own, that's the other thing. I said, and I said that earlier as well. You heard, good to hear. Okay. Um, what else? The other thing I was gonna mention is that, uh, Nintendo apparently remembered that Tetris 99 is good, because they've done three Maximus Cups in a month now, we're getting another one this week. And they've gone backwards. They went Mario Wonder or Mario RPG. Then they did uh, WarioWare, and now we're getting a Mario Wonder one. So tomorrow night, probably end the stream with that uh, after 3 p.m. 3 a.m. I'll, I'll do the uh, War uh, the uh, Mario Wonder Maximus Cup. Get the theme for that, and that's how I'll end out Thursday stream. Um, and what else? There's there's a couple things. I'm trying to rack my brain here. I'm sure everyone's probably seen this already, but there's a, a, a new, someone made like a, a home, home, like a, like a home brewed, not really home brewed, they remade Link's Awakening DX in HD with like full map scaling, and it is available online, it is really cool, and I will, I, I, I imagine this will be ganked off the internet by tomorrow, so I would recommend, uh, looking it up and get it while you uh while you can oh, oh oh perfect someone actually made a trailer for it the people that made it made a trailer cool here check this out You can see the camera smooth. This was actually like remade in like high qual, like like the pixel, like the, the, everything was redrawn in a super high resolution. So it looks nice and clean. This doesn't actually happen. It's just like this. So the whole map, the entire map is active at once. No screen transitions. Camera moves very smoothly. You can just go from one area to another. It's, it's quite incredible. I, I'm wondering if they're going to show off the, the zoom, because there is a custom zoom in it on, on it as well. Okay, well they didn't show off the uh they didn't show off the uh the zoom. But hold on, maybe I could find someone that did. You know what engine it is? I actually have no clue. I have it. I did I did download it. I do not know what it's made in. Um maybe it says right here actually. PC version. Nope, they didn't say. I would have to assume probably Godot or or I don't know. Uh GVG uh, John Cartwright actually did a video on it today. Here, let me see. Let me go right to the. Okay. And uh, let's zoom back. Here. Everything at once. Okay. Wait. 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 Perfect. This actually shows like footage of the game running, so this is good. Uh, 
full screen. It's much faster. So this is John Cartwright. Uh, very, very side. soothing voice man. Even cooler. What? Look at that. We've got this super uh, wide. Like, field of like view. you could see that stuff's been changed because, like, there is there's shadow. Like, look under the dog at the top. You could see a like a, an HD like drop shadow underneath it. Is you can like Mario Maker kind of. How far zoomed out the camera is, so we can go from yeah super close like this, which looks really nice. Like seeing the artwork pop like this is so sharp. You could tell they're not moving the same way they move in the uh, GBA or the GBC version. Which is beautiful. Uh, but those those chickens are not moving the same way. Is going so far out that you can see everything at once and what's wild is you can still quite easily read the game like this or at least i can from this this view um, yeah a little hard but like it's still that's incredible that they managed to make this work that like everything is loaded in everything's active at once you could see the enemies wandering they essentially loaded in every screen at the same time and just have them all running without link on them i don't know how they managed to do this but that is incredible and uh, let's zoom back in just so we can see what we're doing a bit easier. Dungeons, of yeah, course, are all on their own the map, beach. but it's oh. still it's still really, really <laughs> cool. View. And there we go. And you can see how they've redone a lot of stuff. It's way smooth. Okay, that's enough of you. That's enough of you, John. Back to the internet. Let's game you download. Hey, Stone. Yeah, it's really cool. I don't know if I'm going to play it myself. I have it. I have it because I know Nintendo's going to nuke it off the internet in another day or two now that everyone's talking about it, so also don't blame me for that. The internet picked this up, not me. But uh, yeah, I have it. Maybe I'll play it on stream someday. I don't know. Speaking of fan stuff on stream, though, um, has anyone looked into Undertale Yellow at all? Because I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's good or not. I know a lot of people were talking about it. I think it's it's supposed to be like the like it's a fan made game. It's supposed to be the story of the Yellow Soul, like whoever had the Yellow Soul prior to Undertale. Um, I don't know if it's good or not. I've been hearing people say like like talk about it and say it's very clever at some points and that it kind of approaches narrative in an interesting way. Um, if that ends up being good, I'll I'll look into it. If it ends up being really good, I might consider streaming it, even if it is a fan game. I would be very interested in in seeing what it's about. So that's, uh, that's what's going on there. Um, what else? What other game news happened this week? Excuse me, I had to clear my throat there. Actually, I still do. I think I'm getting better because I could feel all the phlegm, like, loosening in the back of my nose. So it's all starting to come out. Um, yeah. So what else? Uh, Game Awards were last week. Uh, man, those were... Those were... Uh, I, I, you know, I don't know. I, I, my sentiments are the exact same as everyone else's about it. What, why are we telling the people up who are there to be celebrated to wrap up their speeches in 30 seconds? Just so we could have a five minute... Uh, a five minute presentation of, of a guy joking about spraining his foot. A, a Hollywood star spraining his foot. Like it was funny. It was funny when when uh, when when what's his name? Chris Judge came out. The guy, the guy who voices Kratos. It was funny for him because he gave a long speech last year. But man, it was it was kind of it, it was just very uh, ugh. The whole thing left a bad taste in my mouth. And the awards are so superfluous anyway because the audience vote is only worth ten percent of of the vote totally outside of that one category. And also. So many of these awards get like rapid fired off. No one gets to make any speeches. It's like, what's yeah? What's the point? What's the point of half of this happening? It's just to make advertiser money. Just for Jeff Keighley to show off that he knows Hollywood people. Which, by the way, his parents were IMAX executives. He knew Hollywood people from when he was young. He, his parents probably mingled with with Hollywood all the time, as a, when he was a kid. So screw that. Yeah, the game advertisements. That said, the announcements were pretty good. The Sega announcement was was quite uh quite yeah glorified ad. The Sega announcement was quite surprising. Oh, we're talking about that. Yeah, that was a farce. We didn't even have an interrupter like last two years. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Again, the phlegm's loosening up, so you're gonna be hearing a lot more snoring right now. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Like the, some of the announcements were good. The Sega announcement was was cool. Um. The Sega announcement was cool that we're getting like five new Sega IPs. Sorry, five old Sega IPs getting revived with new games, which is really neat. 
Jet Set Radio, uh, what was it, Crazy Taxi, v was Virtual Fighter on there? Jet Set Radio and Ta Crazy Taxi excited, other titles are good too. Golden Axe was on there, 3D Golden Axe is happening. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Cool, but also kind of shitty, because right now Sega's, um, Shinobi and Golden Axe, uh, right now Sega's kind of going through, uh, through some shit. They're being Union Busters, which, uh, we ain't a fan of Union Busters in this household. Not too happy about that. Uh, hoping that gets resolved and that things go better for the people trying to unionize. Because, uh, let me tell you right now, and I've talked about this before, as someone who, you know, pursues voice acting and, and such, uh, having SAG-AFTRA kind of throw us under the bus, not fun. Very much hoping that we see some union ref in labor reform going on with, uh, with that. But yeah, same for, same for video games. I'm always a supporter of a strong union. And, uh, Sega's workers definitely deserve it. Streets of Rage was the last one. Nice. To me, though, the biggest news out of the Game Awards was absolutely, and, and the, the IP, the trademark for this leaked a while ago, but, uh, Visions of Mana. We're getting a brand new Mana game next year. Not coming to Switch. It's coming to uh, Xbox, and PS4, PS5, and uh, Steam, and PC. But uh, yeah, the first new Mana game in, was it 25 years or 15 years? It's it's ridiculous. It's the first, it's not counting the remakes of, of Secret and Trials. It's the first new Mana, it's the first new Mana game to come out since I've started streaming. And Mana's always been kind of a stream, uh, like, tradition for me. The main character looks so much like Randy, what the hell? Yeah, I think that's kind of the point. They're trying to purposely go as far into that style as possible while modernizing it. I saw, they've released some more footage. No release date yet. Looks like it's gonna be good. Looks like it's, yeah. Kid Chameleon Eternal Champions are the other two trademarks that were recently made by Sega. Yeah. But, but yeah, I mean, you know, we've seen Square Enix trademark things before they came out before. So like, uh, Trials of Mana and uh, Live Alive were both trademarked. A year before they were announced so the fact that we, we got that visions of mana trademark like a month ago and now it's already announced and being shown off is is quite something and uh, you can absolutely bet that I will be there day one obviously it may maybe it'll come to the next switch and that's why they're not saying it's coming to a Nintendo system we don't know but I think um, assuming that's not happening I think it's safe bet that I'm gonna be get safe bet that I'm gonna be getting it on Steam and playing it I don't even think it's a day one issue. I think that this, the day it comes out, I will I will absolutely get it and play it. Because I am down for a brand new mana game at this point. I've only got two mana games that I have not streamed yet, in terms of like mainline ones. Uh, Heroes of Mana on the DS, which is the uh, real-time strategy game. And uh, is it Dawn of Mana? Whatever, Sega Nitsetsu 4 on the PS2, which I have no way of streaming because... I, I can't, I don't know how, I have to look into PS2 emulation, and I know, I, uh, ooh, emulation, scary, evil, but, uh, that would be the only way I would be, I'd actually be, 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 that would be the only way I'd actually be able to play it, unfortunately, but I would like to do, uh, both of those games at some point. I'm putting it off because there's other stuff for me to play, and, uh, also just don't want to do, uh, a, a real-time strategy game. Didn't this song just play? No, it must have been something else. Did pick up... Did pick up Collection of Man at one point. I haven't really opened it. I've been, like, teetering on the edge. I, I kind of want to get that, and I kind of want to get the Final Fantasy Legend Collection, which is the Romancing Saga. Not, sorry, the Saga Collection, which is the three Game Boy Saga games, which are Final Fantasy Legend 1 through 3 in America. Because they often go on sale. And I, I wouldn't mind having Collection of Mana. Like, I've played all three of those games. You know what? Maybe I will, because at some point, I want to do another playthrough of Trials of Mana. Because I've done two of the stories. I have did the fan translation with um, with Hawkeye and Reese's story. And then I did um, Duran and, and Angela's story in the remake. And I was going to do the remake again at some point and just play um, Charlotte and Kevin. Trials of Mana... But um, maybe what I'll do is I'll get the collection of mana and I'll play the, uh, the the official translated SNES Trials of Mana and do the last story that way. 
That way we can kind of get like the whole the whole experience. We play all three versions and experience all three stories. I, I wish I, I wish I had gotten that first and done that before the remake came out. You were at MFF, didn't see you only show up on Friday. I was actually pretty busy on Friday, so it's no surprise. That being said, I'm sorry I did miss you. I did want to see you, and I only remembered once I left that you, that I was like, oh, right, Sone from Twitch was going to be there. One second. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, I, I feel bad, but I missed a couple people there, to be honest. There were a couple people that I was straight up, like, try to talk to, and it was too loud, and they missed me. <laughs> But yeah, you know, another time. Well, may maybe another time. Who knows? It'd be cool to meet you. I had a great MFF, by the way. I know I, know I talked about it before, but MFF for me was uh, excellent. Spent the day with a friend. Nice. Friday was mostly spent with a friend for me as well. A friend that I've only met once before in person. And they're actually really nice. It's, they, they come to stream sometimes. Uh, they're uh, Goobway. Who helped me, helped me a lot with the Final Fantasy XIV streams. If you couldn't tell by their name. Um, yeah, so I guess that's kind of it. Game Awards, Unions, Visions of Mana, Sega, uh, Link's Awakening, Tetris 99. I think we kind of went over everything. Work's been kind of eh this week. It's actually been pretty quiet today. The problem is it's like I, I keep, people keep asking me to do stuff like every second of the day. And I'm like, come on, just give me a second to unwind here. So, yeah. Um... That's that's kind of it's kind of everything. Um, trying to think, like, did anything else major happen that's worth mentioning? I streamed last. Did I stream last Friday? I did. I did Ace Attorney last Friday. Um, tell them to do it themselves. <laughs> I I don't want to get fired or or called out for not being cooperative. Also, I keep getting spam follows on my Twitter now. Cool site, uh, asshole. You know who I'm talking about when I say asshole. Um, let's block that real quick. Block this overhead. You saying that made you uppity? The quintessential asshole, yeah. Um, so what else? What else, what else, what else? I do have something... Actually, you know what? I keep forgetting about the whole category I'm doing right now. So Twitch has officially made the Twitch recap uh, a category because they want people to talk about it and stream about it. I don't know why, but fine. Here you go. Here's my Twitch recap for this year. Um, this is me as his creator. I admittedly have not watched a ton of Twitch in the last few years. Like, Vinny was kind of my big Twitch watch... Of, uh, and even him, I've cut back significantly. I watched more of LOLs. LOLs LOLs. For the win. My friend, who I mentioned a lot on stream. I've watched more of him stream this year than I have of Vinny. And LOLs has streamed like two times. Not two times, he streamed a couple times this year. But, it's pretty crazy. So, in terms of me as a creator, from the last, from the last recap till now, which I'm assuming counts December of last year, 183 streams. Very good. That's me. That means I've been streaming like every other day for the whole year. Um, I think this is chat sent to me, which is 32,000, which is not surprising. You know, the regulars, you guys chat a ton here. Um, 2.2 thousand hours watched. Uh, that's not me. That's all you guys. So thank you very much. New followers, 100. It's a decent amount of growth for me, who only had about 400 at the beginning of the year, 415. The fact that I'm above 500 now is really great. New subs, three. You know, it's nice that people care enough to sub. I'm going to pull back the curtain here a bit and show you that right now, uh, I only have one sub point, and it's from Knox, who's essentially been subbed to me since the beginning. He subbed to me, and he just never did, he just never undid the, uh, he never, und he never, he just never retracted the sub. He's just been subbed to me for, for years, and I appreciate that. I absolutely appreciate that he's willing to give me a couple bucks every month, which I absolutely do not need. He does not need to keep doing that. He can take it off if he wants to. Um, it's not, you know, I'm not doing the best as a streamer, obviously. I could be doing better, but I also stream late. I don't innovate my streams. I don't do much to pull in new people. And I think it's entirely my own fault that I don't get more people on my stream. I mean, even right now, right now I have a lot of people looking. 
I have a lot of, I have seven viewers right now, which is a lot for me. But it's, you know, it's it's a lot because the people here that are, the people here are all people I care about. But it's also not a lot of people. I know I, I'm I'm mutuals with people who like started streaming the same time I did, who are partners now. I don't want to drop names, because I don't want to make it sound like I'm a jealous, like, bitter bastard over it. But I, I have a friend, a mutual on Twitter, who has, like, like they have, like, a hundred new subs and, like, a thousand new followers in a year. And even that's not a ton. I see people with way more than that who aren't even, like, huge streamers. And I'm just thinking, like, man, I'm, I must really be doing something wrong here. And I know I am. I know I'm absolutely doing something wrong, and I know complaining about it is just doing something else wrong. <laughs> so, whatever, man. Um... It is what it is. Again, I'm trying to mostly have fun during the streams, not uh, not get overly like bent out of shape over numbers. It does kind of hurt a little bit to like see myself go nowhere, while you know everyone else is kind of moving ahead a bit further than I am. And it's always like, well, don't compare yourself. Yeah, it's like, yeah, but I've been streaming for seven years. There has to be some sort of progress being made here. And you know what? Maybe this is progress, because I think there's more followers this year than last year. I'm pretty sure I have more hours watched this year than last year. Maybe that's all that matters in the end, but I just know I'm not going anywhere. Popular emotes, I only have two, so obviously they're most popular. Top categories, Tears of the Kingdom, Theater Rhythm, 14 Online. Not surprising at all, considering how much I've streamed of all of them. Uh, in terms of Switch games, these were the two top ones as well, so there you go. Theater Rhythm is my game of the year, by the way. I would say it's better than even Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom's good, but Breath of the Wild existing in the same space as it kind of, dim like, diminishes it a bit. I feel like Tears of the Kingdom did not have that big wow factor at the beginning that, that Breath of the Wild did. And because of that, it's kind of hard to be like, to be like, oh, Tears of the Kingdom, that was a 10 out of 10 game. It's like, nah, it was a solid 8, 8.5 8 out of 10. Breath of the Wild, I would say, is like an 8.5 to 9. It's a good, it's good in a different way. But yeah, I mean, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's kind of just where we are. Point is, you're not doing the worst, and that's what matters. Hear that, to BH, no worries, me neither. I mean, if I really want to farm views, I could always do the new trend. I can always do the new trend on Twitch. Uh, hold on, let me set up. Let me, let me, let me take part in this. Let me farm views for a minute. We got Ace Attorney coming up. Check this out. I got a, uh... I got a, an actual Magatama that I wear as a necklace. Okay, so how does this work on Twitch? You just don't show the nipple, right? So I can show this. Is this good? How's this? That's good? Is that enough skin, Twitch? We're gonna start getting some views here? Oh my god, I'm a, I'm a hairy bastard. It glows in the dark, too, just like the real thing. You have to still have to say you're... The Munch plushie, yeah. By the way, I want to point this out, and this is this is not me trying to, like, be weird. I stream like this almost every night. You have to have a tag for it. Mm. You know what? One day, one day I'm going to do a stream like this. I will do, I will do the, the Man Mound stream. Actually, you know what? I'll just wear the tits. By the way, I have another... I got The box where it broke while I was on vacation, so I got a new one there. It's like a cloth box. It's okay, but uh, it's really big. Um, I love how I have the Munch Plush set up, because it's just, like, right, always there. It's always smiling right in the frame. Anyway, um, yeah, so the big thing on Twitch now is apparently going topless and streaming, like, down to the nipples, but not showing them. Specifically, you know, for femme-presenting people with, with boobs... They, they do that. They, like, get on camera and they just don't show it. And they're like, yeah, it's kind of like the evolution of the top the hot tub stream. Yeah, artistic nudity is the new thing that Twitch allows now. <laughs> cool. To me, that means drawing kink art on stream. That for To me, that means drawing either a naked lady or some, some hot inflation form. Porn. Form? Inflation form. Inflation porn on stream. <laughs> Gonna make a more wordy post about but everybody... 
I'm going to make a more wordy post about it, but everybody wasted no time to do this. Yeah. No, because that's what happens. A new trend shows up and people jump on it. Everyone jumps on it. Porn is still not allowed, but nudity is okay. Okay, but like, where does fe where does kink art fall on that? Where does kink art fall on that? Uh, I'm out of I'm out of Bomberman here on music. Here's Bomberman sixty four two music. No, I don't. You don't have to look it up. I don't care. I'm, I'm asking as a hypothetical. Um, but yeah. So the funny thing about this is, and again, I'm not doing this to be weird. I'm doing this to just state a fact. Just say everything's banned and make it easier on everyone. Yeah, we're all banned. Shut the stream down. It's over. I stream like this almost every night. Because my room gets hot. My room is stuffy. This isn't a well-ventilated room, especially in the summer. It's very hot. These headphones, these pads are extremely insulating. My ears are sweating right now. So it's easier for me to just take off my shirt and stream that way. Because it's not cold in here, and I'm still sweating a little bit. So, you know, if the future of Twitch is is streaming, streaming topless, then you know what? Bring it on. I'll farm those views. I'll I'll expose my 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 man mounds for views. Maybe my woman mounds too. Who knows? My swimsuit is over there too. Why am I? God, why do I live like a slob? That pile has gotten bigger and bigger every day. Bad. Bad. Anyway, this is all the skin you're seeing from me, don't worry. I'm also not actually wearing the Magatama. Let me clean the room. Okay, look, I'm gonna say this again, and I say this every time. I'm gonna say this every time. It's not the fact that I'm not clean. If I had the room, I would be super organized. It's the fact that, you know, I've been working from home for three years. I have no, I have nothing to save up my money for. Because I'm not trying to move out. I'm not trying to do anything right now. So it's all going in, it's all just going into savings. And I just spend it when I want something. So I end up buying, I, I bought like a ton of material crap that like I probably wouldn't have gotten if I was on a budget. And um, yeah, it's like not, it's just I have no room for it. And I only have this one room to live in. None of the other rooms in the house are mine. So... I just don't have the uh, the ability to do so. Uh, that was the only song from Bomberman 64, Second Attack, I knew. Let's do uh, a song from Bomberman 64. Actually pretty happy I may see more people strong fetish stuff. NSFW parts on a more stable platform than Picardo. D the desync hurts. Not safe for work parts are not. Ah. I mean, I've seen people draw kink stuff on here before. I mean, granted... It's generally not the NSFW. I mean, kink art inherently is NSFW, but it's not like genitals out stuff. <sighs> you have no image, I know. I, I just turned off the uh, webcam. Do you have space? So there has to be some way of getting that stuff away and taking up the room space so that sh probably shouldn't be. I have space, but I don't have space. I don't have space to put that stuff. If I spread it out, then the rest of my room is just going to be cluttered. I'm going to have to dance around stuff. There was an artist, uh, that I watched. King Card is NFW, who really makes you think? Well, it's... By inherent... Inherent... Inherently... Inherently. King Card is not really supposed to be shown to, you know... It's not supposed to be shown in a work environment or to children or anything like that. And that includes even if it's, like, silly, safe for work. It's still being drawn for the sake of fulfilling a certain emotion, so I don't know. It's a very big gray area, but I tend to err on the side of... Yeah, tell us of the cartoons. Exactly. The, the, the And I agree with that wholeheartedly. The thing with cartoons is that the intent of it was not to be weird. Not to be horny. Twitter's going wild at the moment. Apparently, Avatar nudity is not allowed, but art is. Avatar nude? Oh, you mean like what? Like, like VTuber? What about my PNG tuber? He doesn't wear pants. Speaking of which, again, I mentioned this before. I know I haven't debuted the PNG tuber like I was going to. I keep putting it off. Um, I wanted to do like a proper reveal, but it's not a great model. Whoa, no, 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 no. Let me reword that. It is a great, it, it is a great, the images in it are great. I really like them. The, the artist that did them is amazing. It's not a very well-rigged thing because it's just like two frames. 
it's kind of like the old ones that it, it's like the old ones that uh that that uh, sour cream slash karma did for me. It's just it's just gonna be two frames with a transition between them. Not the most complex thing. I don't think it's worth doing a whole big reveal for. But at the same time, I kind of want to save it. Like I don't want to use it right now. Noel's probably fine because it's a funny animal. Yeah, no, no, no. But yeah, I'm still working out when I want to do it. Again, having an overlay would help a lot. I don't know what I want to do for that because I really don't want to reduce the screen size too much. Here's, um... So, you know, Wild Abandon broke up earlier this year and we're not doing the Starlight Charities anymore because of that. I'm not. Unless they, you know, I managed to get in with, the, with Starlight. It's possible. I could probably apply and still work with them. But, like, this is what the charity overlay was like. I would not want an overlay this big for uh, for the stream normally. That's That screen size is way too small for me to be playing on that every night. But, like, maybe, like, if the screen was moved up and maybe it was expanded, like, maybe, like, 20% more from where it is, that'd be good. Essentially, like, where my dancing borb is, I want that much space to have the, v2, the, the PNG tuber. Even if that means I spill into the screen a bit, that's fine. I just don't want to be taking up, like, the entire lower right chunk of the screen. I don't know about you guys, but this purity pur uh, Puritan thing that's been happening for quite some time is really annoying to deal with. Yes, it is. There's only so much we the adults can do in gatekeeping and stuff like that. That is hard. Not great either. What does it make? You want to know who's to blame for all of this? For Who's to blame for every single bit of this? The credit card companies. The credit card companies are run by a bunch of pearl clutchers. They say... They, 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 they intimidate platforms even a little bit and they have to cave. Patreon, like banning all the adult stuff recently. They went after they went after a very specific niche community le recently, and wiped all of them off the platform. And then PayPal did the same thing to a few artists in that in that community as well. And that and they gave no reason for it. They just did it because they were worried that the credit card company would consider what they're doing to be immoral, and if Patreon didn't like agree to get rid of them. You know the credit union would the credit card unions would just stop working with them. And once that happens in America, you're fucked. You cannot live if you're like that, especially a company. So, while you know the blame is, you know, P Patreon's definitely right to, to P Patreon's definitely right to be blamed for it. It's not the blame's not entirely with them. It's largely with the credit card companies because they're not run by great people. Nothing is run by great people. That's the nature of capitalism in general. We, I've had this conversation many, many times before. What about workers and stuff? They need to get paid too. I know. It's a very shitty situation. There's a lot... And it's like that... It's, it's very... The whole world is in a scary situation right now. And I don't want to... I don't want to start a whole thing, but I'm going to say this. A very large, large chunk of the problems going on right now in society and in the world in general are absolutely 100% the fault of capitalism and or the United States in general. The U.S. government is not good. It's never been good. It'll never be good. And, uh, that's all I really have to say about that. I'm not gonna, I'm not, it's not, I'm not gonna sit here and make some big, like, rally cry, because there's already enough of that happening online, and I think you already know where to go to, to see that. But I'm gonna say that, like, we're at an age where we all have to be socially conscious now. Even, even people, even people who don't know anything about politics have to, like, stick their foot in it, because... We're, we're at a point where we just can't stay silent anymore. Like, it's it's not just something that affects the rich people. And it never did, really. It's just that, you know, we grew up and we realized that. So, you know, things are what they are. I don't want to get hung up on this because this is not what I wanted this ramble to be. But, you know, rest assured, you know where my you know where my heart lies in this whole matter. On, on a lot of matters here. You could probably take a good guess. It's 1 a.m. at the moment. Going to pass out. All right, thank you, son. Thank you for stopping by. Sorry for to bring things down so badly at the end here. Long story short, no escape from human greed. Exactly. Exactly. Crunch. Mm. 
Human greed is why the world's fucked up. Human greed is why we're sh streaming shirtless. <coughs> Human greed is why the Game Awards suck. Anyway, I'm done with this rant. I'm done with the ramble, too. Technically, the Twitch the Twitch recap was kind of the end of the ramble. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll try to do something to get more viewers. I'll, I'll try to follow some trends. I really don't want to because I really just want to keep streaming what I enjoy. But maybe doing one stream a week where I'm like kind of... Maybe doing like one content farm stream a week. Like on Sundays or maybe like in the middle of the week when people aren't doing them. Maybe one of those like every week just to try to drum up support might help me. Like Vinny. Because that's what Vinny used to do. Vinny streamed... And he still does. Vinny streamed whatever he wanted Monday through Saturday whenever he would stream. And then Sunday would be like the corruptions, the weird shit, the out there games... Even back when, even back in 2013, when you first showed me him, uh, no URL, please. That was that was his routine. He would always do the corruptions and all the weird stuff on Sundays, and it became a thing. And people came. Remember the f we were there the first time one of his non Sunday streams. Yeah, when it was so much smaller, smaller. We were there the night one of his non Sunday streams first broke a thousand viewers, and we thought that was the craziest thing ever. We were like, "Wow, Vinny, way to go!" You're, you're, you're really getting up there. Now he's getting, like, thousands of people there every night. I don't know how many he's getting on, on Sundays, but it's well into the four digits. It was amazing. Really, he's been doing he's been doing really well, too. Even cutting back on streams, he's still doing very well. I don't really watch him live anymore. I just watch the VOD uploads, but... Yeah, Vinny Vine Sauce, he's, uh, he's, he's a legend. He's definitely... Even if he'll never... Even if he's not considered one of the biggest streamers on Twitch, he is absolutely... One of the most consistently entertaining. Even if uh, some of his jokes get a, get a little tired at times. Him, Germa, Mike, Jabroni Mike, who was brought in. You know, he, he started streaming because of Vinny. Um, Ima Cooney, who I, I know... I actually knew... I know Ima through another friend that I haven't spoken to in a while. Probably catch up with them. Um, yeah, who else? Law, I know Laws Laws would never consider himself... A big streamer. I mean, he's, he streams for fun. He streams to even less people than I do, and he enjoys having no people watching. But he's a very good friend of mine, and I really like watching his streams because he's gen he's genuinely entertaining. Like the way, like he has such he has so little care for what's happening on his stream that like the way he acts is just inherently funny. Like he'll go and make tea for like twenty minutes in the middle of a stream and just leave it running. And I'm like, you know what? I respect that. He's awkward and genuine, and you appreciate that. Yeah. I'm not talking about Lodge. You're talking about Vinny there. Vinny, though, like, he's got pretty good charisma. Vinny's got Vinny's got some, some like, he used to be very deadpan, but he's definitely opened up a lot, especially ever since he left his, his previous job and started Red Vox. He really, like, you could tell his life went, like, mmm, like, right up. His mood, like, just... just Uh, something else. Oh, cool. Oh, hey, one of your gifts just shipped. Uh, that I got you. Cool. That'll be there Monday. Remember when Snoop left his stream on for, like, a day? I've never watched Snoop stream. That's the thing. Like, I don't generally watch, like... I'm not gonna watch, like, a celebrity stream. Like, why am I gonna do that? That's such a waste of my time. Alright. Huh? I'll tell you later. Don't worry. Snoop, Snoop Dogg's afraid to leave his stream. Okay. Yeah, this... Okay, so this ramble's gone on too long. I've been talking for 40 minutes. This is like one of those, like, hidden streams I've done. Only if the celeb is Miku Hatsune. <laughs> At the Game Awards, when they did, like, Best Streamer, and they gave it to that one VTuber, I was like, I don't know who that is, so I'm just gonna call her Natsune Miku. Endearingly, I don't mean that as an insult. The fact that she won that award is uh, is 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 damn great. Congrats to her. I don't know who she is, but congrats. She doesn't know who I am. I don't know who she is. World keeps on spinning. Anyway, I have been talking way too long here. Let's wrap this up. I closed I closed my music player. Oh, whoops. Let's wrap this up and do Ace Attorney for an hour and a half. And we probably won't finish it, but maybe we'll get through the next investigation part. <laughs>